think I have to, if I want to, I'd like to say three hours a day, but that's, you know, probably in a day when I'm on my desk and not, uh, you know, in New York City or something. But I think I read more than most people, even those younger than me, who are so busy doing things. So uh, I have the leisure time actually to to read. And uh, I think that's what we've lost now in, in sort of science today is leisure. Uh, now, Craig and I had plenty of leisure because nothing was happening when we were trying to find the DNA structure. There was, you know, uh, there weren't hundreds of, you know, new facts appearing, uh, you know, almost every week that we might learn about. And uh, so now people really defensively want to be sure that they're, uh, you know, people will think they're experts. So they become more and more narrow experts and not very broad. And I still can't get over when I was at a large pharmaceutical company, they uh, half jokingly, but I'm sure the reality was true. They had a thousand PhD technicians. That's as you got your PhD, <laughs> you were just a technician. No one was, they were, you were hiring you to do a very narrow thing, not to show any, you know, big thoughts at all. So, uh, uh, with so many facts, uh, what I miss now are thinkers. Uh, the uh, people you would say who are smart. Now, now you, when I was a boy, you know, smart people were respected. Now it's, you know, people who do things <laughs> uh, <laughs> who do it. And uh, often you find that, you know, uh, there hasn't been one person doing it. There are 50 names on the paper. <laughs> and uh, uh, our famous paper, Francis Mine, could have included Morris Wilkins name on it because he was really part of the, he didn't make the final discovery, but he was, you know, part of the step just before it. So we asked him to put his name on the paper and he said no. It had been a three-person paper. <laughs> uh, but, uh, the, uh, I worry about people really thinking big. I don't find many people who do so now. Uh, the, uh, when I was a student at the University of Chicago, uh, Robert Hutchins in his speech said the function of the College of the University of Chicago is to prepare you for greatness. Uh, he used those words uh, because uh, our education was largely reading the great books. <laughs> and you were reading the great books not to uh, be, be a teacher, but to let you go beyond the great books and produce another great book. <laughs> so that was how he saw it. Of course, he would know that that wouldn't happen very often, but it was still there that uh, and it certainly in dreams of people, you know, that they do something big. Most of the time they keep it secret because, you know, it's so unrealistic. And often, and then you get braggarts who tell you, you know, they're doing something great and uh, you don't believe them. But nonetheless, uh, you know, in some sort of quiet way, you should uh, uh, have big dreams. I think stop having 50 names on a paper. Just, you know, accept the fact the rest really didn't think at all about it. And you should really, you know, <laughs> you know we're just technicians in, in, you know, in a real sense. And uh, 
uh, reserve authorship for people who put together the sentences. I mean, you know, you know who put together <laughs> uh, the answer. Whereas, uh, I, I think it would be, you know, very unsatisfactory to be the mother of a scientist now. <laughs> and you know, have their son hand home a paper where, you know, there are 20 other people on the paper. And she'd wonder, is he going anywhere? <laughs> so, uh, and, uh, and another problem maybe, though, you know, it's against everything we now say, we may be training too many scientists. That is, we're training people who really don't want to think, they just want to have jobs. <laughs> and uh, they consume money. <laughs> and uh, so you'd lose some, you know, if you cut out people who didn't have real dreams. But uh, if you go into science, I think, you know, better go in with the dream, you know, that maybe you too would get a Nobel Prize. It's not that, you know, I went in and I thought I was very bright and I was going to get one, but I'll confess, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, I knew what it was. And Quick claims he was otherwise, but the, the moment I saw that structure, I thought, we're going to get a Nobel Prize. You know, that was within, you know, it had to be five minutes. It was so obvious. Mm -hmm.